Hello, I'm Lana Kay, and we have a truly eye-opening topic planned for you today, especially if you think Made in the USA is just a catchy slogan. You'll find out after today's show that it's much more than a catchy slogan, so stay with us and meet our guest, Ginger Watkins. Welcome to the program, Ginger. I'm glad to be here, Lana. Yeah, I've, I've wanted yeah. her to come on for so long. Ginger and her husband have created an online company. The name of her company is America's Virtual General Store, and they sell so many great products, the best part being they're all made in the USA. That's so right, Ginger, man. yeah, so mm -hmm. Ginger, now how long have you been operating your America's Virtual General? We started in 2010. That's when we went live in January 2010. And it's been growing steadily every year. We got about a 20% growth rate each year. Uh, and it's That's getting more fantastic. and more exciting. That's fantastic. Now, Ginger, why did you two decide we want to do mm -hmm. a company featuring all made in the USA? Well, my husband's always been in manufacturing. And in uh, 1996, him and his uh, partners bought a factory up in Columbus, Ohio. And we were driving, uh, oh, it was in the early 2000s, we were driving, and he kept saying, you know, the manufacturing is going away, and he kept talking about different factories that were closing, and he said, we got to start buying Made in USA. Well, I had uh, uh, retired from Anthem, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield, and I'd been working on websites, and I said, you know, I could work on one. So I picked up the idea, and just slowly it grew, and eventually by 2008, I had a uh, website built and we started contacting uh, manufacturers and vendors and getting products on site. And we went live in January 2010. And, and you, it must have been smaller then. Yes, you it was didn't much have smaller. as many items. Right. And, and then you've been building steam ever since. Yes. And adding more and getting more business. Yes, that's true. That's, that's great. Really true. Well, Ginger, ABC's nightly national news broadcast with David Muir, this is my favorite broadcast, they are really helping the Made in the USA. Um, Ginger, they feature America Strong, and many times it's highlighting uh, Americans doing great things, mm -hmm. and many times they're targeting companies now. Oh, they're, wow. they're going on, yeah, they're going right to the factory, all made in the USA, and it is wonderful. So between Ginger and myself, and mm -hmm. knowing Ginger and mm -hmm. watching the David Muir ABC's nightly news broadcast, this keeps this right up in the forefront of my mind. Mm -hmm. um, and this is what we're hoping that you will do after listening yeah. to Ginger today, explain why it's so important. But I have bought a snow shovel. Mm -hmm. I have bought socks of excellent quality, blue jeans from Ginger's site, uh, 10 tall, it, it fits me perfectly. I'm mm -hmm. tall and they lengthwise, 10 tall is perfect. I have noticed now after knowing her, mm -hmm. I was looking for light bulbs. Sylvania has made in the USA light bulbs. Okay, Alme is now featuring mm -hmm. a cosmetic line. It's called Simply America. Okay, they're all made in the USA. Absolutely. So be conscious. Keep this in the forefront of your mind. And Ginger, I want you to tell us some facts mm -hmm. about why it is so important uh, to keep this in the forefront of our mind for our country, for our country's sake. Well, the first thing that we all talk about is jobs. And the biggest man employer in this country are manufacturers, believe it or not. And I read somewhere, and I got it off the internet, that if each one of us that earns a, a paycheck committed to spending $64 a year on buying Made in the USA, that that would support 200,000 jobs, new jobs that would be created in the manufacturing industry. And a lot wow. of us grew up in the 60s and 70s, and when I was a teenager, the boyfriends and the guys that I knew would all talk about what factory they were going to work at when they mm -hmm. graduated from high school. It was a given that their uncle or their brother or cousin or somebody was going to get them on at some factory, and now that's just not the case anymore. But that used to be the way that America ran, and small towns flourished around the small factories. Yes. And so many of our vendors, and the blue jeans she talked about are made up in Akurum, Ohio, and they're all American clothing blue jeans. I have a pair on right now. They're great. They're and soft. They're wonderful. The story of that company was the owners right now, it's uh, Bethany and B.J. Nicole, and they worked there. 
and he was in a store and he saw the all-american blue jeans that they made and he looked at them and they were made in mexico and he almost had a coronary and so sure. he found out that they were going to outsource and close the place down so they got together and they purchased the company and they've been going strong ever since and if you want to check them out, it's all American clothing, and they sell all kinds of clothing that they don't manufacture, but it's all made in the USA. But they make beautiful uh, dress pants for men and all American blue jeans. Uh, just a great company all the way around. But there are so many stories like that that I could go into. Uh, it's, uh, one after the other. They're heartwarming yeah. stories. When I was a young girl, I worked for Palm Beach Company, and we had um, factories in Danville, Knoxville, Roanoke, mm -hmm. uh, that's Alabama, Roanoke, uh, mm -hmm. Talladega, Alabama, five sewing shops, and, and they're all gone, Ginger. Wow. We, we outsource. See? Why? For, you know, everybody's Three, yeah. just thinking about the money, but those small towns were devastated when, they are. Our, when Palm they Beach are. Company pulled out the manufacturing base. So as I, I admire Ginger and her husband mm -hmm. so much. I'm so patriotic <laughs> that anything we can do to advance our company, I'm all, our country, I'm mm -hmm. all for. So, Ginger, when you become conscious, now I have noticed, because I'm always looking, mm -hmm. I have bought in the fall mm -hmm. apples made in the USA. Mm -hmm. So was the cider, mm -hmm. the apple juice, and California is now producing olive oil mm -hmm. that has surpassed wow. the, the taste of the Italian olive oil. So also, don't forget, over in the grocery section too, yes. take a look. Yes. Because uh, now, Ginger, there is a difference though in made in America, because yes. we see a lot of those tags, so, Ginger, help mm -hmm. us out with this Made in the USA. Not okay. one and the same, is it? Now, when we first started business, I would, it was very difficult to get vendors on, on our site because we weren't a big company and I wasn't going to buy $20,000 worth of product. So there was a company that made boxer shorts and sweatpants, and we got them on site, and I can't remember the name of them. I wish I could. Uh, anyway, we got them on site, and my husband purchased a pair because he likes to check them out. Looked at them. They were made in Guatemala, and it said in their catalog, American Made. So Guatemala is in America. It's in Central America, I believe. Uh, so be careful. American made is not made in the USA. Uh, not that we don't want to support those countries, but right. we need to keep it home. And made in the USA has two, there's the FTC guidelines, and a lot of people don't know this. The FTC guideline for made in the USA means all or virtually all of the content is origin in the product is origin in the United States of America, and it's assembled and put together in the United States of America, and that's the Made in USA label. Now, the second label is Qualified Made in USA, and on our site, we also sell Qualified Made in USA, and that means, let's say, uh, our Earth Creations clothing line. They have wonderful women's clothing. They're very Earth-friendly, eco-friendly, but a lot of their material is bamboo, and they get it from overseas, so it'll say Made in the USA of imported material. So we're still supporting jobs yes. because this is a factory. Uh, they're sewing, Excellent. they're designing, and we do sell some crafts. This scarf is a craft, uh, and it's somebody sewed it and made it here in the USA, so I'm supporting that. These earrings came from an Indian reservation, so they're from the USA. And the shoes are Clogs USA from Missouri. The socks are Wigwam socks from Sheboygan, Wisconsin. The shirt is Aqua from California, I love Aqua that. Company, AWKA. So I, I wore my outfit today She's just to be an advertiser. That's uh, right. But it's very difficult for women to find Made in USA clothing, and everybody asks me, why can't I find it in the store? And there's a reason. There's so a tell reason. It. Tell well, us. we stopped in Texas at one of our manufacturers when we visited our daughter, and they make uh, men's work apparel. And I found out that in order for a factory to cut pants, they cut uh, a couple hundred pair at a time of the same color and the same size. Now, most small factories can't afford to cut thousands of pairs because they would never sell them. And they can't afford to supply these huge department stores with 10,000 pair of pants. So they can only do small quantities. And the big stores like Kohl's and all the big department stores, they don't want 10 pair. They want thousands of pair, and these small factories can't afford it. Now, you can find them on the Internet. Search for Made in the USA jackets, Made in the USA women's apparel, Made in the USA men's work clothes, and you'll find us. And we're just one of many. There are other companies out there selling on the Internet Made in the USA exclusively. That's great. So that's, that's great. the reason you're having trouble finding, especially clothing, 
uh, and electronics on the, in the stores mm -hmm. themselves. It's the quantity. It's just the expense of, the of these quantity. small factories they can't afford mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. mass produce. And sometimes the, the Made in USA product might be a little higher. Yes, it will. But it's got great quality. The, the mm -hmm. the, my blue jeans, I love them. Then I got another pair. And she on that did. second pair, I waited because, as Ginger said, they were waiting. The factory that she mm -hmm. does business with was waiting to get enough pairs to do their cutting and their, mm -hmm. yeah. and their you know, putting it together. Because she has a size tall, and that's a little That's right. That tall. was a little different. <laughs> and so I waited, but they are well worth yes. the wait. They so, are. Ginger, and why? is the labor why is the difference in the labor why has everyone ran overseas well profit. of course for profit and uh, I don't know if a lot of people may not know this but when you buy made in the USA you know that there are standards and you're protecting the environment my daughter went to China last summer with her class she's in college and in Peking the air was so filthy this summer that the residents were wearing masks it's so filthy because there's no controls on the factory emissions and there's no controls on the labor and that's just China and we don't know about India and Pakistan and all these other places and if you have a conscience and you want your workers the people that have made the clothing you're wearing if you want them to be treated right and to be able to live well buy made in the USA and your, your conscience is clear you're True. not supporting child labor right Bad, bad conditions, yeah, and you're not low supporting, wage, uh, polluting low the wage pollution. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so. now jobs shipped abroad to Ginger many absolutely. times don't return. No, it's hard to get them returned, but they said shipping cost is going up between the overseas, and there are some places and factories that are uh, bringing things back. I've been hearing about it. Uh, we'll see. Maybe slowly, but surely. Um, but the, but we, the vocal, we need to be vocal. Uh, if you have a chance to talk to anyone that's in uh, authority in a purchasing environment in a big department store, ask them about it. If we get more and more vocal, and like Lana says, it's on the ABC News. Mm -hmm. uh, if everybody mm -hmm. starts thinking about it, and uh, it'll be very fashionable to buy Made in the yes. USA. Yes, yes. And, uh, and um, okay, Ginger, yeah. so give us, more, give us more reasons and more, uh, let's build the case for thinking about these made in USA products, Ginger? Well, we talked about the, the eco-friendly. Now, the other thing is safety. Uh, we've yeah. all heard about the pet foods that had poison in them. Um, I'm not sure, but my son had a little rat terrier, and he ate a whole bag of, he, he tore up in a whole bag of pet treats, and about three months later, he died of liver failure. Now, I believe he was poisoned, and with I'm not the, sure. I didn't want to make him feel bad about it, but... Uh, if you're buying pet treats, um, toys for your children, things like that, you, you would want to buy made in USA products because especially if it's made in some third world country or even China, they don't they don't uh, they don't have the, they, they don't, have, don't have, have the, the controls that we right have. that we have. And uh, the countries, the factories that are owned by the United States and these other places, they try to control them and they try to keep keep them under wraps, but it's, it's difficult for them. Now, may, many foreign countries also don't have minimum wage. That's right. And so, you, of course, they're working yeah. these and sometimes yes. children. So tell us about that aspect. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I do know that uh, these factories will go over there, these companies, and they will build a big, huge factory, and they put it in the middle of the country, and they bring all the peasants in, and they build dormitories. And they live in the dormitories away from their families, and they have to work seven days a week. 10, 12, 14 hour days, and most of the people are so poor that they will lie about their age to get jobs, uh, and there's no controls, and I've read a, a book, and I'm not, it was based on fact, uh, they talked about how the doors were locked, and I don't know if anybody remembers hearing about I've, the, I've heard the factory in the United States, I mean, things that happened 100 years ago in this country mm -hmm. uh, will be happening there, and we probably wouldn't hear about it if it did, but uh, these are all reasons to buy Made in USA, and I think the uh, lack of minimum wage, uh, the jobs coming home, and building the strength of this country, and it also it, it's a, a trade imbalance. There's money that's going overseas, 
you're buying things and you're supporting these economies over there instead when our of ours suffering. Right, yes. and, and we're we're losing our strength, as she mentioned, uh, because we're not supporting made in the USA. Yes. Why give it over to the foreign countries and and let us become weaker and more dependent on them? Yes. And we then don't it takes a long time, like you said, to yeah. build something, you know. And and the more we don't build it, the more dependent we become to, on them. So there's just great reasons for it. Uh huh. Yes. Um, uh, if we lose our ability to manufacture, you know, that's where everything starts is with our manufacturing ability here. So they may be small. But enough yeah. smalls make large. And that's, that's the big thing. Um, I like the small factories. When we went to Texas, uh, in Crockett, Texas, there's a family-owned factory, and it's called Earl's Apparel. And there's a pair of pants that they make that are very, very popular, and they're called Stan Ray pants. And they're Stan Ray work pants, and then they wear the, make the gung-hos. But the story behind these are their father started the factory back in the 70s and stan ray was named after his little boy named stan ray we met the original stan ray and i mean and he's a big tall man now in his 50s um, but the style that they're making is the military style and we've been shipping these pants we ship out oh probably 10 to 15 pair a week now to japan to uh north korea really? not north korea south korea not north korea really? uh the uk uh, Belgium, we ship some to Belgium, and they'll usually buy one or two pair, and you can print a U.S. postal label and get the uh, uh, information on there. But I talked to a couple people, and the reason they're so popular is they're styled after the 1940s military, the U.S. military pants. And these are the countries, especially Japan, where the United States military we had a very big presence after okay, World yes, War II. Yes. And now these uh, young people are getting very nostalgic for these pants. And uh, there's a couple tricks to the pants that people, I try to tell them on the phone and I try to tell them on our site, that they're slim. Uh, we don't realize it, but when we buy pants, America's gotten so heavy. Heavy. I didn't want to say fat, but, but we'll uh, say When we heavy. buy pants, they call it um, vanity sizing. So a man will buy a pair of 36s, and he's, I'm 36, I'm 36. Well, if he measured his waist, he's 38. Mm -hmm. And they call it vanity sizing because everybody wants to think they're smaller. And how many of us have heard movie stars saying, I wear a size zero? And oh, it's like, I've what? heard that. Right. You, you're mean, not, you're, we can see you. Zero. Right. We're not, we're right. Young. You so, can't wear a zero because we can see but you. But these military style pants, they call them true to size. Okay. And so I tell the customers when they call me, and, and they'll always call and say, these don't fit. And I said, on our site, it says, measure your waist. These are true to size. If you have a 34 inch waist, by 34. These will be 34. Uh, by 36. Right. You know, I see. Don't uh, say, oh, I wear 34 all the time. I buy 34. Well, you really have a 36 but you're, inch you're waist. That's your vanity. That, that's yes, the vanity. And that's the vanity sizing. That is, that is so. Uh, and these military pants, they're in uh, khaki, they're uh, olive green, uh, and then there's some camo, and then there's the, uh, the six pocket mm -hmm. carpenter pants. And um, that the is gung hos, the gung ho camp trousers are real thick. Uh, canvas material mm -hmm. and then there's work their work apparel mm -hmm. is what they are mm -hmm. but they're very apparently they're very popular with young people well ginger we're starting to get to our 20 minutes and can you think of anything else that you'd like to put across to our viewers um, uh, i just you think? want everyone to to be aware and when you go out look at the labels and it's amazing like alana was saying i've been watching things and even little scotch tapes made in the usa there's just so many things yes. that are made in the usa and uh, channel channel lock tools, uh, Lowe's and Menards, uh, Stanley tape measures are made in the USA. Great. Uh, there's uh, those big step ladders, aluminum step ladders, Stanley. Mm -hmm. They're made in the USA. And then the Annan flags, you see them in the stores. They're mm -hmm. made in the USA. I mean, it would be a sin to buy a U.S. flag made in China. I just that makes me shudder to think about yes, it. Yes, <laughs> yes. So we will be thinking about it. Ginger, thank you for being with yeah, us. Really we have learned so many it. good points just listening mm -hmm. to her today. And um, this, she's Ginger Watkins, yes. America's virtual general store. Ginger's information will follow, and you will want to go to that site and look at those great items that she has. There's not just the blue jeans that I love. Yeah. There's many other There's products, kitchen products there. And, uh, She's got uh, a whole shoes, array. Shoes, bedding. 
Uh, yes, it's a wonderful site. So remember, it is so very important to support this great country of ours and mm -hmm. its workers. And you know, you get really self-satisfaction mm -hmm. when you do. I feel so good when <laughs> I leave that store with my Made in the USA <laughs> products. So um, as I always say, be happy and keep smiling. <laughs> Buy USA products. Absolutely. And I'll see you soon. Thank you, Lana.